Okay, that's better. Oh, yeah. What's going on, World Wide Web? It's your boy. Trey Libra. And all of us. Can't even see you, bro. Today is Sunday, September 25th. We are a day away from my birthday. That's right. I'll be 20 years old. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Elijah, raise your hand. I'm sure they know who you are by now. Raise your hand. Ryan, stick your peanut head out. And Malachi, give him the woo woo. Anyways. We are on our way to meet up with my brother. I'm going to my brother's uh, apartment complex to, um, huh? What? Spit it out, young man. What he thought it was? He thought Javaris had his personal pool. <laughs> uh, yeah, we on my brother. Uh, we on our. Uh, uh, we are on our way to my brother's house. Um, we've done this thing like two, three, three times no. since the beginning of the year. We need to do it more often, anyways. What? My brother and I, we get together. My my brother has girls. He has uh, Deanna, Deasia, and Jada. <laughs> he got all three girls. <laughs> my other brother got three girls too. But uh, anyhow, my sons and I, we're about to meet up with my brother and my nieces and you know enjoy enjoy family time together uh daddy uncle day you know what i'm saying get together it's bright it is really bright and everything around us is washed up anyway it's a vlog they can see us but yeah we are on our way over there to have some fun with them kick it before um the football games start on Sunday. I don't give a crap about no football games, especially not pro. I love college, but not pro. My brother's obsessed with the Bucks. If I'm a if I'm a go for a pro team, it ain't gonna be the Bucks. <laughs> mm. Probably like Carolina or DC. Anyways, we're on our way over there, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. Oh yeah, the boys are gonna hop in the pool. Uh, I don't think I'm getting in the pool. If I do, I'll probably stop at Walmart and give me some swimming trunks and a towel or whatever. But uh, I, I'm not feeling the pool. I don't really care about the pool. But if I, I can swim, though. I can swim. So don't believe in the stereotype. Black men can't swim. I can swim my ass off. I don't do beaches. I don't do rivers. And I don't do lakes. If I am going to swim, it's going to be in a pool. That's right. Me too. You too, bud? Stop lying, you go to the beach with your mom all the I time. I hate the beach. Well, you hate the beach? Well, I hate the beach. I can't stand well, the beach. When I go to a beach, I want to stay at the shower. Okay. If I do go to the beach now, don't get me wrong, I like to observe the, the nature of it, right? Because, like, you know, what God has made is, is pretty good, you know? I like the ocean waves, I like the sand, I like the the look of it but I'm not getting in it <laughs> you know like I'm not climbing no mountains either I might look at it from the valley but I'm not going up there anyways this clip way too long I got my own little sack right here I think we all got our sack own sack <laughs> we all got our own ball sacks hey nobody said nothing about no ball sacks I just said sacks right <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody say nothing about no ball sacks. <laughs> this ain't no SUV. Ain't nobody got no soccer balls and no footballs and. <laughs> That's what I mean. I said we all got our own sacks. That's what I mean. A I phones. mean, I mean sacks. I mean sacks. A sport balls. But we don't got no. One. What kind of sack of balls you got? <laughs> I got footballs, soccer balls. <laughs> So you got big balls, huh? <laughs> you got big balls. That's not what I mean. You said you got soccer balls? I'm thinking about tennis balls and oh, golf yeah. balls. Yeah, yeah, I got those. I got those. So you got little balls. 
<laughs> Why are we talking about balls? <laughs> sports. Anyways. For sports. For sports. We are here at my brother's apartment and uh, I apologize for the previous footage. It was like kind of washed out. I didn't realize I had the exposure cranked up really high. <laughs> you got a ball right there. A towel sack of ball. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got ball sacks. Social media. How do you always texting in the car with me, but when I text you a call, you never pick up? Or your phone go right to voicemail? Like, you never have your, like, when you with your parents, you have your phone charged, but when you're not with your parents, you don't have your phone charged. And yeah, I'm putting you on the vault. You're on blast. <laughs> How's that so? <laughs> you playing a game? That's how you ain't never got no damn juice. You playing game. Here, just in case, watch your butt. Kids these days got phones for games and not phones to pick up the phone when their parents call. You can just buy a tablet for games. Do your tablet still work? Right. Yours still work? How come when I text y'all, y'all don't pick up or y'all don't answer? Oh. Or y'all like reply like two, three days later? Oh, because yeah, when I try to charge it, my mom's, my mom's already charging hers. Because at the time, it's not. Can I see your little mini camera? I'm, I'm just not using it. Ryan, you smell like Sonics. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Reach over Bubba. Pretend that camera's in that, that holder over there. What does that, that mean? Door. What does that mean? Put it over there. Bubba tell you. <laughs> Reach over Bubba. No, no, that way. By the Bubba's door handle. You, s you smell him, Bubba? You smell like Sonic's. <laughs> the restaurant. Why Why do you smell like Sonic's, the restaurant? <laughs> they use a lot of onions. What does onions smell like? I smell like, like onions. Hmm? You smell like onions. Why do you smell like onions? Because I eat onions. No. You need some old spice, young man. Not yet, but thank you. I forgot to tell your grandma happy birthday. She's gonna be scarce in here, but come on in. You like me, you don't show up very good in the dark. I don't think you either. You just as dark as your sister. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You a little lighter. Say hi. Come in the light, come here. Come on, come in the light. Don't be like that. Jada gonna come, come on. These are my nieces. Hold on, let me put you in sharp, all right? Jada and Deasia. Say hi. <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they? She got your hair wrap on. See your hair wrap, turn it around. No, you don't wanna see it. No, I'm just saying, turn it on the back. I don't wanna see it. Uh-oh. Say hi. Hi. Hi, look at it. Look at it. I rock rough and I'm jealous of your waves. I won't wait. Look, what's, what's different about me? Anything different? Last time y'all seen me? What's different? He lost weight. Lost weight. And what else? <laughs> My hair. Oh. Who can't swim? Raise your hand. You don't know how to swim. I do. Too. You know how to swim a little bit, don't you? You know how to doggy paddle? I doggy paddle and swim sometimes. I just get like I just doggy paddle. In my backpack, my uh, black, mom, my black and red backpack. I know how to take care of cameras and GoPros.
Oh! The gate locked, so we had to squeeze through the hole to get through the look, 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 look. Yeah. <laughs> you know your daddy watch these. How does the light? Can we get it? Yeah. I'm going to get it. I'll get my shirt on. Me too. That's why I brought another shirt. Can we get it now? Hey, I might come on the side since it's cold. Say it. It's like bloopers. Yeah, it's cold. Ready? Yep. Uh oh, Deanna about to show you off. Y'all, y'all be careful, okay? Cause the steps are right there. All right, I got you. Hands them. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not gonna run, but I'm watch out for Uncle Jabari. Go ahead. Go. So everybody back at the pool. I'm heading to the car and to go to Hungry Howie's to pick up the pizza for the kids. I'm wet and all. I didn't intend to get in the pool, so last minute thing anyways, I got in anyways, and now I gotta get in my car all wet. So yeah, we having fun. So, kinda cold now. I don't know, I might stop at the house, get a towel or something. Change your shorts. We'll see. Oh, I'm rolling. Okay, yeah, do it over here, not by the steps. Okay, because I did it before. Right, I'm going to get you in slow motion. I'm going to probably slow motion. Watch the edge. Don't hit the edge. All right, you ready? I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Yeah. No, I'm not going to jump in the water like this. This is not a GoPro cam. So the pool party slash pizza party, it's all over with. <clears throat> I had a lot of fun with my nieces, my brother, and my sons. We plan on doing it a lot more. Like I said, I had a really great time. I enjoy my nieces. I wish I could spend that same time that I do with my brother Javar's daughters, with my <clears throat> my brother Glenn daughters. My brother Glenn, he lives in Atlanta right now. I'm all alone now my, by myself and in my thoughts. And um, something I want to share with you all that um, I've been thinking about a long time. Um, I did it earlier today. I, um, I shut down my Facebook page. I haven't had a Facebook profile in a very long time. That's when you you befriend people or people befriend you or whatever. I shut that down a long time ago. Um, I get on it every now and then to go get contact information from certain people that I need or whatever, but for the most part, I don't. it's not active. I don't post on it. I shut it down, but um, I completely shut down my Facebook page today. That's the particular page where you go and you go like and stuff like that. Um, it does me no good. It does me no good at all, and I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of people don't realize that social media, what it's become, it's become this like platform for advertisement. Whether you are a small business or a big business. Um, back in the days, back in 08, uh, 05, 2005, 2008, 9 ish, whatever, you know, MySpace was big. And it was very beneficial for people like myself, independent artists. And it really geared towards promoting your music and stuff, you know. But once bigger companies, uh, bigger artists started finding out about these services that services that MySpace 
was offering um, they came along and start sucking up you know all the attention spending all the big dollars there and it kind of like shifted the attention off of the small artists of the independent artists and the same thing started to happen with Facebook when Facebook started allowing everyday regular people to get on its site besides college students and um, you know they started offering artists independent artists you know band pages and stuff like that I, they called it something else back then but anyways they give you this trial period of, of you know gaining fans and friends and stuff like that to where they go and share your music listen to your music watch your music videos share your music videos or whatever and then they kind of ease it into the way where people don't get to see those posts of yours anymore to basically increase sales of their advertisement department so like if I post something barely anybody's gonna see it but if I paid them five ten fifteen twenty dollars maybe hell even a hundred dollars then what they would do is they would force it into the people who already like the page it will force it into their feed so I'm kind of like you know got kind of tired of it playing the game it's like wasting my time and posting for nothing people are not gonna see it I, I just invested too much time energy and money into Facebook I just thought it was really time to get rid of it you know it doesn't really do me any good you know I spent a lot of time effort and money into my music career and if I'm if I'm spending fifty dollars on something and I'm getting back liter literally pennies thanks what's the point of it you know I know people say well you should do it for the art you should do it for the fun but if I'm losing money it's time to stop it you know what I'm saying yeah I do it for I do it for the respect I MC for the respect I MC for the fun you know but I also do it to make a little money I can't sit here and lie to you guys you know and if I'm constantly constantly losing money mm -mm. I mean these beats are paid for you know, you gotta go and buy equipment, mic cords, mics, you know, uh, papa stoppers, mic stands, you know, equipment costs, you know, uh, sending something to go get published through CD Baby and TuneCore, that costs, you know. So music, to, to a lot of you people, music is free, but you don't realize the time and energy and the money people, the artists put behind the, um, the music, so. Anyways, I'm thinking about more creative ways to get my music out there other than social media. I'm thinking about getting back on the corners, pressing up 100 cities a week, you know, get rid of them one by one if I can to get my name out there, get my music in the hands of the people. So whatever I can do to like trump social media, because social media is really not the, it's not the platform and it's not the place, you know. It can be, but if you don't have the money to, to, to pay Facebook or the money to pay uh, Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr to force it into people's feed, then what, what are you there for, you know? And most artists do not spend money on their pr promo, promotion or promo. They just figure, hey, this sounds good, it's dope, I think it's dope, people gonna like this and they put it up and they just flop, you know? So comes a time you want to get out ahead in front of people because there's so many people that's doing music rappers come a dime a dozen like there's so many rappers out there right now but what are you doing marketing wise or dollar wise to put yourself out in front of the crowd the and that's the put the money in the bag stop stalling put the money in the bag put the money in the bag stop stalling put the money in the bag Put the money in the bag. Stop stopping. Put the money in the bag. Before I get there, yes, that's got to be.